the ball is tonight, but knowing our luck, we can't expect everything to go right. Something's bound to happen. Oliver, don't be so pessimistic. Surely they don't know we're here already. Agrajail is a neighboring kingdom, yes, but I suspect Bren and Rose is just another passing-by kingdom to them. Duchess, what my father is trying to convey is that we can never be too safe. That is true, but this might also be your chance to look into Brennan Rose's work. After all, the ball is an occasion where all of Brennan Rose is. How about a compromise? My father has offered to keep the watch outside in case of outside forces. The rest of us will dress up and watch for suspicious actions on the inside. Well then, it looks like we'll be attending the ball of the century. I, I think it's a good idea, because uh, we'll all be are enjoying ourselves for once. I'm glad you think that way, Ia. Anyway, Charles and Adelina should be arriving today. R really? T today? T today, Charles? Charles is arriving? Yes, they should be arriving any time before brunch. Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, please excuse me, I, I feel a bit sick. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, yeah everything is fine, just food poisoning maybe. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Whew, I... <laughs> Why do I feel this way? Oh my... Good lord. <laughs> oh my gosh. I... My heart is beating so fast. I don't know. I don't know why I feel this way. Hello. I... I don't... We did it. But I... I don't... If the idea of adoration sickens me, then why am I attracted to those I respect? Is Am I even in love? I... I don't know. I just... I don't know. Oh dear. Adelina! But Charles! Okay, bye-bye. Alright. Okay, um... Hi guys, um, it's not brunch, but Charles and Adelina are here. I will be going now. <laughs> right, I guess I should probably go down. I can, I can probably avoid Charles. It can't be that hard, you know, um, she's right there. Okay, Adelina, oh my goodness, it's, it's been a moment. My only three sons, it is so nice to see you again, Ia. Thank you so much for inviting me. How have you been? Um, uh, <laughs> you know what? We should talk outside. Maybe you can show me around, too. What a splendid idea. It's only natural since I grew up here. Come then. one of Brennan Rose's ballrooms. I've been to many balls throughout my lifetime, but I guess they're not as grand as many people expect. Or maybe it's because I've been to so many. Either way, it does not matter. But that's about it, I suppose. Um, yeah, thank me, thank you for showing me around. It's, it's quite elegant. Um, but Adelina, are you, are you okay? You seem a bit out of it. Oh, it is really not of concern. Perhaps just a bit emotional being home. Uh, anyway, will you will you be going to the ball? Why, of course. Oh, it'll be such a special night. And since we are on the subject, do you have an escort? Um, well, no, I, I don't think so. Well, not that, not that I don't think. Um, I just haven't asked anybody. Besides, if we're all there anyway, does it really count as a date? Why, it is always nice to have that one person by you the entire night. Uh, yeah. Adelina, do you have any dresses by any chance? Because, um, I, I own nothing. And I, when I say nothing, I mean nothing. Th th this, this is it. This is it. Um, 
<laughs> really? Oh, you poor child. If we go back to the house, I have many pre-made dresses. What kind of woman would I be if I didn't? And I can ta tailor it just to your liking. Oh, thank you, Adelina. It means so much to me. Ladies should always help each other out. <laughs> You're right. Oh, I think this fabric will look gorgeous on you. <laughs> Thank you, Adelina. You're too nice to me. I adore assisting others. Well, to be a woman of this talent. I mean, we live in a world where there's such fixed hate. Th there is? Sexism and discrimination. It's not ideal. That is why I was brought up to be independent in my thinking. Hmm. <laughs> well, with this independent blathering. What about your date? <laughs> you really are a jest, Ia, but I think I do have an escort for tonight. <laughs> you think? <sighs> you remember Charles. He and I have gone along so great, especially recently. I'm wondering if there is something there, you know? Charles is very kind and comforting. He spends so much time with me, which is surprising since he's a single father. He, he is? I, I didn't know. Yes, and he prioritizes his daughter above anything else. <sighs> Such a wonderful man. <clears throat> Not to cut you off, but are you almost done? I'm, I'm feeling just a bit sick around my waist and midsection. Oh, apologies, Zia. Let me just write these measurements down and then you can get undressed. Okay, thank you. How was your fitting? Um, it was fine. I got a bit sick, which is why I have some tea and I'm just sitting down. <sighs> Are you going to the ball tonight? Well, I suggested it, so yes. But I was considering just staying here. Be because of the Agrajail people? Not only that, but, uh, I used to live here and I just don't want to see anyone I used to know. That's all. I pray that the king isn't there. You... you knew the king? Well, hardly. We're not on the greatest of terms, that's all. Oh, so do you need me to hide you? Maybe like, uh, I don't know, under my dress? I... that's a solid hiding spot. Oh! Um, no. Besides, I don't think it'll be that recognizable anymore. It's been about ten years now. Oh, well, then hopefully you should be okay. Um, but I'll stay by your side if you need it. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Ia. Yeah. I feel like I was cold to you when we met, and I'm sorry. I'm just scared of reliving old memories, that's all. I, I don't know where this came from, but... And it's fine. I understand now. Well, maybe not completely, but if you don't mind would you mind sharing what happened i don't want to open old wounds but i had a very manipulative and abusive family not only that i was forced to marry someone it was not the greatest part of my life i'm so sorry it really bothers me how someone could hurt another person or even have ill intentions i know but it's what we have to live with sometimes Truly, I wish life was easier and accepting. Cadence, have you ever been in love? I am not completely sure. You were going to have a son, weren't you? The father, did you love him? I don't think so. I presume I married him for my own protection. You see, I ran away from my family and I met him along my journey. He was very... nice. Too nice, I might say. As time went on, he grew different kinds of feelings towards me than I to him. But he was considerate, and it felt like our bond grew. I protected him, and he protected me. I felt almost obliged to marry him. And, well, 
it's considered a lady's duty to have a child, so we laid together a few times. Not that it was enjoyable. I, I understand that. Well, not being in love, but feeling obliged for protection. It's Alvar, isn't it? Don't think I didn't notice. However, I think you're wrong about that. Yes, you two use each other for protection, but it's more than that. There's a mutual respect between the two of you, and it's incredible. I see the way you look at him, and how he looks at you. It might just be a hint of love. Maybe. But I thought you said you'd never been in love. Yes, but I know how to love. I just don't think it's my turn yet. Anyway, you've hardly touched your tea. Drink. You'll feel better. Thank you, Cadence. For your advice. Atmosphere. Isn't it exciting to be back, Cadence? Well, I supposed I missed the luxuries and the abuse of power. Um, people, they're, they're dancing? Um, it looks like they're just holding waists and shoulders. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this is a formal dance. Couples' dances are to show image and formality. Oh, so should Cadence and I dance? Uh, oh, <laughs> well. No, Ia, it is tradition for boys and girls to be together, just for tonight. Oh, um, I guess. I appreciate your offer, Ia, but how about you dance with Alvar? I can get him for you. Alvar! Oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm... I'm okay, uh, thank, thank you, though. Oh, well, in that case, I'll dance with Alvar, then. <laughs> Well, are you going to dance? Oh, maybe. Maybe if- Oh my gosh! Sorry, love, I must head off. What? Why? What the heck was that about? Oh my gosh! Okay! <laughs> Hi, Charles. Where did Adelina go? Uh, I'm, I'm not- I'm not sure! I, I don't know! Ah, well, would you like to dance? Then we could have a drink, maybe? <laughs> I would love to, yeah! I never knew you had a daughter. Ah, uh, yes. Right now she's with my mother, but yes. I do have a daughter. Who told you? Adelina. You know, Charles, you're not really a bad person. Uh, thank you? I didn't think I was. <laughs> well, yeah, but you're not. You know, just with our previous interactions, we didn't get along right away. What do you mean? I remember you to be quite charming when I first met you. I don't know what happened, though. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened that day either. Um, it's very much a blur. Which makes sense, since you fainted, too. Yeah, I have no clue what happened. Um, anyway, about those drinks. Right, I'll be right back. Do you have any preference? Um, I have never tried alcohol before, so no. Whatever you have, I'll have. Adelina, um, you danced with him? How was it? Uh, it, it was really nice. I am sure a dance with him is always lovely. Can I tell you a secret? Uh, yeah? I think I'm in love with him. <sighs> really? Why haven't you told him? Because I'm not sure if he carries the same feelings. Well, I'll go ask. What? No! Right. <laughs> um, excuse me. Oh, uh, so sorry. Excuse me. Okay. Charles. Oh, 
you're here? Okay, listen, Adelina loves you, so you need to come with me. What? Wait, what? You, you need to dance with her. Why would you tell me and she not tell me herself? Because she's scared that you don't love her back. Now you need to dance together because dancing can be an intimate thing for lovers. Now come on! Hello, Charles. Adelina. Well, off you two go! Go on, go dance! <laughs> Yeah.